Welcome to gaming stream number 60. I'm your host Devious Dave Rose and today we celebrate the free release of Kerbal Space Program on Epic Games. So as I've been letting you guys know not only for years about how great this game is but also for weeks now about the free release. Well not weeks about a week. Um, regardless Today is the day, and it's the 12th day of Christmas, the epiphany and um, the release of um, this free game. So if you haven't done so, I believe it expires January 12th. As such, you still have time to add it to your wish list. So, shout out to all the viewers that we have right now in the chat. Let's start off. Uh, we've got Lord Danny MT. We have Latino Heat. We have the ghost from the coast. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you got my email. Um, but yeah, I sent that to you. Um, but yes, this is my main channel. The other one is my alt channel when this one gets struck. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that you're back. And I've been finally able to clarify that for you. I wasn't sure if you got the message. Um, shout out to Getty Lee, Zowl Knows. And I'm sure many more will tune in as well. So, um, actually, it's really cool because I tweeted this out that I was going to be um, doing the stream, and um, I tagged the company, um, Kerbal Space Program. Well, Squad is basically the company that runs it, and I tweeted Kerbal Space Program because they're on uh, on Twitter, and I attached Epic Games as well, but I got a like from um, Kerbal Space Program, and um, who knows, maybe one of them is watching right now. But it's a game, uh, obviously, uh, not to kiss ass or anything, but uh, I've always promoted this game, and I've been playing since pre-release 2 or 3, I think, um, like point zero two or point two. I can't remember the designations they gave, but the game was so different back then, and it's just evolved into this awesomeness. So um, I'm going uh, gonna to show you this game in all its glory. Uh, the second game is coming out soon, or at least in 2023, and this thing is going to take this game to the next level. And um, you're going to have interstellar travel, uh, planet colonization. It's going to be fucking nuts. But, um, yeah, let's check this out on Epic Games here. So I'm going to have to launch this, but I've got to um, probably configure this here. So we'll launch it. Once the game starts to, uh, to get to the start screen, I'll... Uh, Add the uh, source there in OBS. So here we go. It's starting up. I, it took a little bit. Uh, I actually had another internet outage uh, earlier. I was stuck at 35% till uh, things regulated. And uh, took a little while to download and, well, to complete the installation, I should say. But, um, yes, this is going to be fucking awesome. I'm getting an alert of some sort. What is this alert? can't see anything what's going on oh the website also request for authentication what the fuck oh okay so it popped up the web browser for me for some reason to give permission for this game to run weird uh let's what the fuck created an account no thanks let's skip that all right, so here we go. Ghost from the Coast says, yeah, Devious, I received it and replied. I, I haven't checked in, sorry. Uh, I've been watching at that Grand Tribunal. I uh, just haven't been able to comment. Uh, I have to wait uh, until like four weeks or so. You give me your, your URL for your YouTube uh, channel, and I'll make you a mod um, on that channel. Uh, obviously... You know, you subscribe long enough that you got a mod here. But, um, yeah, on the other channel, if you want one, just send me the... Uh, actually, I can do it myself because I can just look at the chat here, go to your channel, take that link, and then add it to my uh, approved uh, moderators, and then we're done. So uh, don't worry about anything. Uh, you sit back and relax and enjoy. So what the fuck? So now they want more information, and we got to allow this. Not, uh, not the complication I was expecting here, but... Uh, eh doesn't really affect us too much. 
Okay, so the game looks like it's finally loading. Shout out to AJ Bulldog in the chat. He likes his uh, Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, Danny MT says, oh shit, I just realized we're not on Grand Tribunal. Well, at least that means that at least the fucking uh, alerts are working, right? <laughs> or, you know, you're getting the, the listing in your subscription list. Uh, so, all right, so we got to get to KSP here. We're going to make a new source. Oh, is it already? It is. It actually already knew to, oh, very, very interesting. All right, well, let's do it to it. Let me just check one thing here. Skibbity dot shooty de doo. And yeah, there we go. So we're going to get our first look, everyone's first look at the full version of Kerbal Space Program that's available free on Epic Games. So if you like um, you like the space stuff, be sure to check it out. And if you just want to, you know, play around with it, mess around with it, I'd suggest um, adding it. It's free. I mean, just add it to your collection and, hey, maybe you like it, maybe you don't. You want to install it. It's all good. So here we go. Loading for the first time. Updates here, Easter eggs, as I told you about the other day. Launch sites, which is cool. A lot of stuff. I'm not gonna read it out for you. But you can you can read it if you want to play the game. What is this here? Um, what is this? I'm gonna have to lower the volume as well of the music. I like to play in uh, the silence. Unity Analytics. Um, no. So we're going to go to settings. And first thing we're going to do is going to disable the music. There we go. Much better. Not that the music's bad or anything, but it's just, uh, you know. I'm good without any music. Uh, I can be inspirational. So Kerbal Space Program Breaking Ground Expansion is the second addition to the PC version of the critically acclaimed Space Flight Simulator. Um, yeah, you've got the ability to land on uh, all these. Yeah, I told you that uh, you have this drilling ability. You can uh, get resources and stuff. Very cool stuff. So we'll say do not show. Close that. Obviously a lot of updates here. Uh, Latina in the chat says... If only Kerbals 2 allows you to subjugate alien races and planets, then you could reenact the genocide of the Scuntles. Uh, you never know. There could be a mod out there for that. Um, making history expansion. Um, oh, yeah. This is sort of like you got to follow the space race. We'll close that. All righty. So, um, yeah, you can see he's actually built in now. You've got the add-ons and mods. Obviously, credits, the... <laughs> official KSP merchandise store and start game. So there you can see the full version 1.12.4.3187. Engage, Wesley. So let's uh, check this out here. So we're going to play start game. Oh, they've actually changed this a lot. Give me a second. All right, so there's training, which is cool. There's scenarios. Actually, let's, let's show you guys about this. So all these training scenarios, so basic flight, for example, you got to make a minimalist-type uh, launcher and uh, try to get these points, uh, intermediate construction. There's a lot of different um, training scenarios that you can go through. Docking, for example, very cool to try to get these two things aligned together. Uh, asteroid redirect mission, which they actually worked with NASA to um, to design this, and um, yeah, there's been a, several instances of this happening. Uh, most recently, I believe it was the DART mission, but there's been several, 
and uh, you know, very cool things available science basics orbiting uh, scenarios here let's see what we got so asteroid redirect mission orbital rendezvous uh, ready to capture the dynoing final approach so you've got to uh, land this which is a dynamic soaring hence dinosaur um, Shuttle that was basically created in the uh, late 60s, early, well, sorry, late 50s, early 60s. Um, an EVA in Kerbin orbit or on Duna, the Mars equivalent, exploring Gilly. So that's very light atmosphere, sorry, light uh, gravity. An impending impact where you have to uh, actually hit this, uh, well, not this one, that's the moon. Uh, but hit a, an asteroid, Jewel Aero Break, so you can get into orbit by going through its atmosphere. Now, we, we got into orbit the other day um, quite far away, but you can actually get captured if you go through the atmosphere because it will slow you down. Uh, that's what an Aero Break is. Moon Orbit, Moon Rover. So a lot of, lot of scenarios here that you can go through. And um, ESA missions. European Space Agency? Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, Rosetta, that's another one that, into, um, hold on, what does this guy say? Uh, we can try these things out. Your briefing, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. No, they, they talk now. All right, so, yeah. Gives you a bunch of different uh, real-life scenarios here. So they've worked with NASA and the European Space Agency. Rosetta actually was the... Um, intercept of uh, this comet here. Um, this little short mission here, so we'll, oh, hold on, go back. Um, yeah, let's check this out, about making history expansion. I think it's probably what we read before. Let's see what happens. It's not gonna open, oh, oh hold on. Uh, yeah, it's open in a browser. No, I don't want to read it on the browser. I want to read it in the game. All right, well, uh, here we go. We're going to, um, yeah, the Kerbals talk. Um, so, yeah, we're going to s resume saved. Really? Well, there's nothing saved, so what is it talking about? We'll start new. Now, we've got uh, Sandbox, Science, and Career. Sandbox lets you do whatever you want, as we've done in the past. Science, basically, you just got to gather this scientific information, transmit it, and so forth. And then career, which you have to actually proceed through a skill uh, table and so forth, or a skill tree, and manage all these uh, different aspects of the space program. So we're going to go with uh, Sandbox to start. And um, let's see, what are we going to call this? You know what? I'll call it Community Kerbals, and we can make characters of everyone. Our flag, what kind of flags can we choose? We could choose NASA, the UK Space Program, this B612 organization actually exists, or foundation. Any new flags? Yeah, several new flags. Um, I'll stick with the, uh, actually, hold on. Um, yeah, I'll stick with the traditional Kerbal flag. All right, let's start it up. Let's see what this game's like. And uh, let's check all the, uh, the different updates that have been made to it. Also, I'm taking suggestions on... Uh, I might have to lower the environmental... Yeah, I'll probably have to do that. Too loud. So, settings. Is, is it here? Music, uh, voices, ambience. About 30. 44, actually 50 is okay there for the master. Kerbal voices, uh, it's a little bit lower. Uh, let's apply, accept, and resume. Oh, it's still kind of loud. Oh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll play it by it. Goes from the coast says, nice. Um, call the next one not fun for me. Not fun for me. All right. Well, we could. Um, 
So now we have uh, Gene Kerman, who is welcoming us to the um, Space Center. Yeah, the birds are a little too loud. I'm gonna have to fucking fix that. A little distracting. Let's get uh, back to the settings here. Come on, settings. No? Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Uh, okay, I got it, thank you. So, um, when I started playing this game, you basically only had this and the, uh, the runway and stuff. You didn't really have all these other buildings, the research and development, um, I think they had the tracking station, they had the launch tower and so forth, but none of these two places, the astronaut complex or the administration building. But let's, uh, let's check this out here. Werner von Kalman, welcoming us to the assembly building. So check this out, all right. So these are all our um, primary pods, essentially, and they can be piloted or unpiloted, but we have uh, quite a few things in here. So this is a probe, as you can see. What does it say about this thing? The Moho Planetary Observer combines the function of many parts in one to help make sure the searing heat of its primary mission target is distributed and dissipated without harming its critical control functionality. So this thing is based, Boho is the Mercury equivalent in this game. So this is made to get close to the sun and uh, not burn up. So there's that. Uh, what's this one here? The MTM stage, what's this? Also, Mo Moho Transfer Module houses a control core and generously sides Xenon tank perfectly for transporting large scientific payloads anywhere with a large amount of Delta V are required. Okay. So yeah, this thing could probably go for a while because you see the electric charge, 4,000, that's huge, and then the Xenon gas. So you need the electron, uh, the electric charge to create uh, the, um, the thrust utilizing the Xenon gas. Um, through basically ionization. It's an ion drive. Um, Danny MT says, heading out to eat at my favorite Indian restaurant for some phenomenal chicken tikka masala and chicken vindaloo. Uh, I'll stay tuned, but I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing hard. She could be eating uh, barbecue there. Um, that existed before, that existed before. Several probes here. So, similar, uh, you know, just a couple of additions here. Let's see what else. Fuel tanks. Anything, I think that's a new one. A drain valve. Interesting. Not too sure exactly what this would do. Obviously, you drain the valve, but I can't really... Well, I can't scroll down on the description here, so I can't really see that. Drain most resources from the part that it happens to be attached to. So, I guess if you need to uh, release fuel, it could, uh, could help you. So. Most of this stuff looks the same. Barbecue is actually an option. The Indian cuisine was for the win. Meh. Provincial Danny MT says the ghost from the coast. So uh, let's see here. Yeah, all the engines appear to be the same. This one's new. Place anywhere linear RCS port. Let's see what we have new with structures. There. There's a new one down here, this cargo thing. Coupling. It looks like they're all the same. Payload. These are new, I believe. Service. No, no, we've had those before. Um, I, yeah. Aerodynamics. Anything new here? Um, same wheels. Thermal protection. Or not protection. Thermal sources here, control systems. Yep, same. Electrical. Oh, that's new. What? what? Fuel cell, fuel array. Uh, that's old. Oh, 
Oh, so there's new. Okay, cool. This is uh, this is new. Let's see what this looks like. Hold on. And let's expand it. Oh, very cool. Round. I like. Um, everything else seems to be the same here. Communication. All the same antennas. Actually, this might be new, though. I gain antenna. No, no. This is existing. Science. Anything new in here? Doesn't look like it. Now, cargo. Okay, so this is new. Entirely new for me. Um, <laughs> Danny says, La ventaja es segura. Um, experimental kit. Interesting. Look how small that thing is. I don't know where this would go. It's not doing it. How does this attach? Let's check this out here. Um, I have no idea. Doesn't even say. Some sort of kit. Just don't know how we would attach it. Interesting. Uh, fuel cylinders. Oh, very nice. Um, you don't have enough Delta V to visit all your favorite places on Minimus or want to circumnavigate dress freestyle. You want to pick these up. Spare EVA fuel cylinders for extra long EVA durations. Okay, so you'd probably drop them off or something. Yeah, you'd probably attach them to your, uh, to your rig now. What is this? EVA jetpack. Very cool. Got to figure out how to attach these. Um, man, they just caught El Raton in Sinaloa. Yeah, I, um, I've seen some of the videos that were happening today. Um, massive amounts of cartel members are uh, uh, waging war, essentially, against uh, certain elements of the Mexican government. Um, one, of their, one of their airports basically got taken over. Uh, there was armed men going through it. Um, helicopters with tracer fire hitting certain locations uh, I saw one convoy but they were going at like I don't know 150 miles an hour I guess they were just racing on a street and there was just dozens of vehicles um, so yeah another uh, another aspect of the drug war so what else we got here? Um, I'm guessing these things have to be either attached to somebody or dropped off because these are all things that they would be using on an EVA. So EVA repair kit, uh, personal parachute, um, storage unit, what is this? Capable of transporting 24 different types of cargo items for small house worth of goods. So you can colonize Colonize, there we go. Duna in style. Just give me a second here. What is this shit? All right. So, all right, so what does this look like? Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's very awesome. Okay, so I get it. You'd put these things in here. Come on. No. Why? Oh, okay, there we go. I get it. Got it, good. Very cool. That way you'd land that probably as um, some sort of container ship on, say, the moon. And all your astronauts would be able to go there and collect all these different uh, kits. Uh, what is this? Storage unit. How big is this one? Not too shabby. Three things. Um, doesn't really tell how they're used, but it's for storage. Another small storage device. Interesting. 
put that on the side, I guess, of the exist one. Smaller than the last one. Nine. It's actually pretty cool. Um, and this is awesome. Okay, so there's a um, Stampatron ground anchor. What is this? Um, Stampatron ground anchor provides a secure point to which you can attach other parts with EVA construction, including docking ports if you like to park a larger vessel safely. Interesting. The small work lamps are probably look awesome on the moon. Uh, very similar to probably 2001 A Space Odyssey where they have all the, the lights showing the, um, the monolith. But obviously these things are small. And then you have the larger ones. This is, that's fucking cool. Let me go back to the chat here. Um, goes from the coast, says, It's crazy how Mexico is strict with gun laws, but the cartels with, um, has all these high-end arms. It, uh, it will, Danny, continue. People have to make money. Just hope the next cartel is less violent to the locals. Yeah, it's kind of sad what's going on there. So lastly, utilities. Let's just delete this. Okay, so there are a few things I'm already seeing, noticing that are new. Um, there we go. So here are the drills that I was talking about. Hold on, before that. Is this a dome light? Oh, very nice. That actually is probably very good when you're either in space or just on a surface or something. You don't have to see things. There's more lights here. Here are the drills. So this is designed to extract valuable resources because, yeah, you can mine things and then, like, say, for example, uh, you mine things on the moon and then you can make more fuel and then just load it into your ship. Um, designed to help extract valuable resources from the crust of the planets and asteroids, the drill o -matic uses a rotary drill combined with an internal transfer auger to pull crushed regolith into holding tanks for later processing. When operated by a skilled engineer, so that's important, you will uh, be able to operate with better efficiency. Now, these modules operate best at their ideal operating temperatures and feature auto shutdown in the event of excessive overheating. Radiators, very important, can be used to help manage excessive heat. Very cool. Ladders, escape launch system. What is this? A light strip. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. So you could attach that and then just say lights on and it'll illuminate things and uh, yeah, that's fucking awesome. Blink. I guess it's not going to do it here, but oh, it is doing it. Look at it. Blink. Blink. That's fucking awesome. Oh. There we go. And yeah, they, you can get all these different colors. Like, red would be like red alert or something. That's fucking super cool. Very nice. Um, crew cabin. Same parachutes. What is this? Navigation light. Very nice. This is actually very useful for yeah, either at night or in space in the dark that you can see, for example, the edges of a of a craft and you don't crash into it if you're trying to dock. That's fucking awesome. I like that. Light on. Oh, and the blinking too. And you could, yeah, you could actually add this so it's got uh, green and red if you've got a um, some sort of plane like they do in real life. You've got, um, and they can blink too. That's fucking, that's awesome. Um, yeah, we've seen that before. What is this? Oh, a flag? Oh, to attach to the side? Ah. Oh. Very nice. Bigger ones. Bigger. Bigger. Sideways. So what do we got here? A spotlight. Ah. Let's see what this... Lights on, blink. You can pitch the angle. Nice. And the blink period. Fuck yeah. And rotation angle. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome right there. That's so cool. You could make this like, you could have these lights just pointed to the ground. So, um, oh, that's so fucking cool. 
All right, so what else we got? Um, just two more things. The star shot. Never seen this. Jeremiah, or Jebediah Kerman eats danger for breakfast, lunch, and dinner at his day job at the KSC, resident daredevil pilot. Um, but what does he do when he wants to relax on weekends? He fills fireworks canisters at his state-of-the-art junkyard facility. Starshot 32 is a large firework launcher. If this one goes off at the wrong time, you may be looking at more than just a refund. Interesting. What does that say? Fire in the hole. And I guess this is bigger. Oh, no, it's smaller. Okay. So certainly very cool. Now the question is, what should I build? Should I build a rocket? I guess so. Let's see. I think I will build um, something to get us into orbit. question is if I want to go, you know, nuts and just create something that goes straight to, uh, straight to the moon. Should I make a moon lander? Just straight off, straight off and see how uh, that goes. Uh, again, I'm, uh, I'm open to suggestions. And uh, actually, before we do that, let's uh, get out of here. Because remember, this is just one of the spots where you can design uh, craft. There's also the space plane hangar. So what's new here? These are all the same. I think the yeah, the parts are all going to be the same. Obviously, some won't be available because they're not used. I'm glad that they do black them out because that wasn't uh, done in previous iterations. Certain engines can't be used. Let's see here. And some of these aerospace ones are deselected. Interesting way of uh, just letting you know what's available. But yeah, you can't. Well, actually, it's also because I haven't chosen a pod. But yeah, everything, uh, all those parts are still the same. So there's that. Just exit that. Go to the moon, says Getty Lee. All right. Well, the moon or bust. That's, uh, that's what we're going to do. So um, I'm going to try to make a. Um, I don't know, that's something close to the fucking uh, Apollo lander, or Apollo rocket. So, um, in um, reverence to you, Getty, we'll call this the, um, the Minerva. As you know, Minerva was uh, a goddess and, uh, in Greek culture, and um, her symbol was the owl. So, we're going to call this the Minerva one. Also suggestions for uh, the crew, because I can make custom characters. And um, yeah, we're going to do that. So we're going to try to make an actual, um, an actual lander, um, one stage, you know, lander type thing, rather than uh, do what Apollo did, which was to have a separate lander and such. Because uh, then there's logistics about um, getting them back uh, uh, to dock after uh, the launch of the ascent engine. So there's uh, complications there. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's just um, let's do the Soviet way and just try to make it so that we can land on the same uh, uh, using the same rocket as we launch with. So all right going to need a battery eventually, but first of all, thermals. No, too small. There we go. All right. Uh, decoupler. No. 
control, control. There we go. Advanced reaction control. Large will allow us to um, control this um, upper stage, the one I'm creating right now, um, without expending too much uh, RCS and other things. So, um, yeah, this is going to be intense, guys. Um, we're certainly going to be investing in uh, getting this done right. Since we're not going to need to dock with anything, we're going to forego um, I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. I do want to make it as accurate as I can. So We're going Soviet style anyway, so it really doesn't matter. We're um, going to push with the cock we got. And, uh, oh, it actually did change. It changed the look of that. Looks nice. Um, we need our parachutes, utilities, I believe. So we got our drogues. Drogue chutes. We're going to be see one here and then two more on either side see I could pick this one for the top but no we're not gonna do that now these ones the separate see these are all it's already putting in the wrong order but um, the parachutes are actually gonna have to go there there we go uh, kind of go there those will be the first parachutes to fire Second ones, these ones here. And three way, she said. And let's just lower them a little bit. There we go. Gotta keep saving, you never know. Um, and you can see these are down there. stage, put those in there, that's weird, we got that, that, uh, yeah, so, three, all right, perfect, um, let's do it again, shout out to the Gant, <laughs> The Dan Kennedy Show. Now I'm back on my main channel. So, um, we're going to have to stick um, protective sheath over this. Just wondering what else I'm going to be connecting to. Because we need to connect fuel tanks here. Is it this one? Uh, nope. Remember, we want to land and take off from the moon with the same tank. Probably this one. Mm. We'll keep that on the side for the moment. The other thing is that we're going to need to create a, a ladder. Mm. This is going to be a challenge here. Um, I don't need that. Um, yeah, this thing can go on the uh, lower part, but we want that. Actually, we want one of these cargo things here. Payload. So one of these, for example, we could have experiments in there, but then again, there's the new one, the cargo stuff, which will allow us to have all these different, uh, different things. Um, I don't know, I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now just because of all the different new options. I don't know if I should try to make it uh, just there with, uh, you know, some sort of fuel and um, the ability to lift off, or if I should go as crazy as uh, adding experiments and trying to have a cargo bay and all that sort of thing to uh, pull out these, uh, these things here. But you know what? We'll keep it simple for now. We're just going to, we're going to launch there. Thank you. How are we to do this? Um, we are going to grab a fuel tank. There we go. That should be enough for us to land on the moon. Um, we're going to have to add RCS here. Uh, where is it? Command 
control these things. So, four of them. There we go. We're going to need a ladder here for them to uh, get off. The uh, kilonewtons in uh, vacuum might be too small. No, it's too big. These are way too big. I need that one there. Um, I guess we're gonna have to use this one. Actually, hold on. We can we can use these guys. These are fairly strong, but they're huge, and uh, we need to be able to have these RCS there. Let's just save this for a second here. Just want to check the chat. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day. This game is free. Remember, exclusively on Epic Games. Um, this is where <laughs> your imagination goes wild because you can just make any sort of ship uh, I think I'm going to need a bigger bigger tank so I'll take this one here do that and probably won't need RCS probably won't really be needed very much to be quite honest uh, but we're still going to Keep that in mind. Uh, go. Uh, we need landing legs. Uh, let's see. I think I'm in. I might even add an extra engine on here. too low. I don't like it. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a ladder. Get a ladder from the utility, I believe. So one. Extend. And then rotate. There we go. That looks good. and then we need the legs. So where are the legs? They'd be good. Yeah, but they'll fold over that. That's the problem. And when you take a look at where the ladder extends, it's still going to be high up off the ground. I might have to do something a little bit different here. So, let's take that off. Select four, move these down a little bit further, move these up here, which isn't ideal because they'd be firing on the, uh, the actual engine. Mm, I'm not a fan of this. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, you could do this. It's, it is what it is. So, we'll select this. Hold on. Okay, I'm not a fan of clipping, but here's the deal. You can ro no, rotate it this way so it's on the inside, right? And then you can actually get this uh, move here. Select this and then move it inwards, right? So that works, but not the biggest fan of that sort of thing. But hey, we're fucking around. And that actually does look kind of good there, like that. So we, we shall accept that. Um, what else, what else? Oh, uh, at this point, because it is fairly easy for me to navigate this game and not get too distracted, uh, Skype lines are open, 
I can put myself in. The, I'll put myself in my Discord uh, super secret server if anyone wishes to uh, jump in there. But uh, in a second, messages, messages. <laughs> um, all right, I'm in my super secret server on Discord in the general audio chat in case you want to jump in. But I am going to continue this. So we need landing legs. We also need to. Uh, see this. This might work out well. We've so got this there, which is the orientation I would prefer. We get our legs. We want a clearance, good clearance, so that we could go with a little bit more. So hold on, let me check also the height of the ladder. So we might want to move these up a little further. Yeah, well, there's good enough clearance there. Maybe a little bit further down. But remember, we are on we are gonna be on the MUN, so uh, gravity isn't that much. And uh, we should be able to jump on that ladder without a problem or even um, just use our um, Oh, sound effect, nice. Um, use our jetpack to uh, to get back on the, onto the ship. So, what's next? Uh, well, that's our landing um, stage. Okay, so that's what we're going to use to uh, land and get back off the moon. Still waiting for suggestions on anyone who should be uh, on the ship. What about you, Dan? Do you want to do you want to be a Kerbal? And if so, what uh, do you want to be an engineer? Do you want to be a pilot? Or I can't remember what the other ones are. I think the option was Shift F12 or Shift F11. Oh, it's uh, Alt F12. So, uh, Kerbals. Pilot, scientist, engineer, tourist. Tourist can't fly. Well, basically, no one can fly but a pilot. And all this sort of thing so but um, all right so what we're gonna have to do next is have a decoupler here because this is gonna have to separate uh, this one underneath Oof. hopefully that won't interfere because I'm clipping parts I don't think I don't want things to blow up because they're touching but um, Actually, maybe this. No, it won't work. I was thinking of putting a protective sheath around it. Um, I'm not sure this can work. Um, hmm. Oh, well, if I'm going to be attaching these fuckers, I need fucking. Uh, shit. I need. Uh, fuel tanks for that fuel. Now, because this will be on the moon, um, you can have these things on the outside as long as we protect them. So, here we go. RCS, if we attach four of them here, that should provide us mostly with enough fuel to uh, maneuver around if we need to, but it doesn't look like it's going to be very necessary. Uh, that being said, though, it's going to be somewhat necessary. Also, uh, though we have a battery pack here, we want to, we need to be able to recharge it. We need uh, the ability to uh, to get uh, light. Um, so I think we're going to actually use these cool fuckers. Um, let me see what these look like extracted. So yeah, they'd be something like that, but it doesn't really look good at that point. Um, there are some craft, uh, service craft that use that one. And uh, the thing is that we also have to take a look at, and this is where, because we're playing sandbox right now. When I start to play this game as career and stuff, this is going to be very important. Because, for example, we, we need to take a look at the mass. We need to take a look at... Um, its tolerance, 
uh, the temperatures that it can tolerate and um, just the size that it takes up. Um, one small move in orbit, you could potentially break it right off and then send your craft spinning. So, um, you know, we're going to have to decide if we're going to be using that and if so, where. Probably best up here. If we were to put it there. Maybe. See, if we do, like, look at that. That's fucking stupidly excessive. We don't need that. Uh, it takes up more weight, and it would just fuck things up. Um, cool concept. Maybe for a long-range craft, but if we're just landing on the moon, not really that necessary. And you can pull it off with maybe um, these ones, for example. Say if we were to... Something like that. So we extend these, bam, right? Um, not the best clearance, but um, that would be sufficient because uh, we're going to want this to be able to, while it's going through space, to at least be able to uh, keep its battery recharged, especially when it's not in light. So um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. That looks like that's better clearance. Hold on. We're going to lower these guys a bit. Also, this is important. Let me just save this. Um, center of mass. Okay. The higher this, it, the, the, the higher the center of mass is, the more chance that this can just fall over. You want it closer to the middle or the bottom. Um, it'll be obviously ass heavy, but that's the purpose to keep yourself stabilized. Uh, because if not, you just flip over and over, and uh, who knows what happens. So your center of thrust is right there. Ideally, depending on the craft, you want this right in the middle of there. Um, and then there's aerodynamic overlay, which doesn't matter because it's not going to be flying in, in, in the atmosphere. But yeah, just cool, very cool little features here to keep in mind. Um, because we're going to cover this up um, with... Um, fairings um, we're not going to have to keep we're not going to have to use these things because um, these actually come with the protective layer outside of them so you could go through the atmosphere with them and they won't break off um, still waiting on suggestions for people who should be uh, I might have to make Getty a character but uh, yeah so um That'll keep uh, keep us powered. Um, oof, I don't like the spot there. It's Sorry, but I'm just a stickler for detail and stuff. And I try to make it as accurate and realistic as possible, but all for naught. All right, so um, let's get this motherfucker hooked up to something. So we need to now add the multiple stages that will get us to the moon. Uh, we're going to need something to cover this. Uh, I think we're going to need the fuel. Yeah, okay. Here's what we're going to do. I think it's this one. Nope. Nope. Really? We're doing this way then. Nope. Come on. All right. So we um, just want to get this. All right. So. That's not too bad. Um, I might have to turn this. Actually, hold on. Where are we oriented? Yeah. I'm going to turn this just for the fact that it'll just... I won't have to do the orbital uh, orbital turn. There we go. That should do it. Yeah. 
Um, all right, so now we get um, to the fun stuff. Now we're going to make the... Because uh, the more complicated stuff has been done. Um, now it's just um, making a big, fat rocket to uh, take us to the stars. So we need a big tank, a big tank to fit this. So we want... We want... We want... Is this fun? Oh, and this is where we're gonna have to get this guy on there. The, uh, there we go. Hold on. Reaction mode. Oh, too small. Where's the bigger one then? There's gotta be a bigger one. Um, I remember seeing a bigger one. Could be wrong, but. Um, Yeah, we can do something. We can do something about that. Um, yeah, this would certainly get us to. Actually, we could even add an additional stage. But um, Getty says, "Go for it." All right. Um, going to be, again, like I said, it's going to be Soviet style, so you might not agree, but come on. What am I doing? Undo. Soviets had a lot of struts on their vehicles. Oh, I need... Oh, I... Yeah. Dumb, Dave. Dumb. Um, that's a lease. Hold on. Fuck. Okay, I think I, I done fucked that up. So, um, we need that to release. This thing... Hold on. No, no, because we do have that. And now we... Okay, I got it. Probably because there's someone bigger. Actually, that's something else that I've got to look into. I believe you can actually adjust the size of something. Uh, let's just see here. I have to look into it. I remember seeing somebody do a video about it, that you can adjust the size of certain components. But okay, so yeah, that is our stage to release. Uh, fairings go first, obviously. Um, all right, so yeah, let's um, go Soviet style here. Stylistic, but okay. No, it's not what we asked for it. It doesn't even do it proper. All right, well. Again, this game is free on Epic Games. They're not paying me to say this. should be enough. Um, Alright, so that's the big rockets that go and uh, get us to the moon. It's going to be kind of nutty, but okay. Let's do it. Alright, so decoupler. There we go. Um, Tanks, the big ones. These 
bad boys on there. Oh, I think I didn't see this one. This was a new one. Mainsail? Oh, they changed the look. Oh, that's nice. What is this? Uh, in a vacuum, 1500 kilonewtons of force. And we picked um, this one here. 1200. Sorry, 2000. Oh, so we've got even more. Um, well, let's see how this one goes. Uh, I guess we're going to attach solid rocket boosters just because that'll help us boost up there. And, uh, I mean, it's not that... I mean, I'm thinking I'm over-engineering, but I am going Soviet-style. But uh, I should be able to get this... This would, this would be too heavy right now without some additional boosters. I could attach additional engines, but... Um, I'd be risking things. Um, let's see. I do want to make this succeed. That's why I play this game. You know, despite all the craziness that goes on, I do want to see this thing uh, succeed. Um, I'm not a fan of solid rocket boosters. They're very dangerous when it comes to space. Because uh, once they're turned on, you can't turn them off. And, uh, well, then you get uh, shit like happened with Challenger. Um, I don't know if this rocket has enough thrust to keep this weight up. Because this, this, this stage here, the second stage, is going to be a fucking heavy motherfucker. Um, well, fuck it. We're going to the moon. And if we can't make it, we're going to fake it. Just like NASA did in the 60s. But, I mean, what? Um, anywho. Um, yeah, we're going to space, bitches. So. What do we got? What do we got? Here we go. So. Not that many. No, we're going to want... Um, see, since we're oriented the way we want, right? Yes. I'm gonna put them on these sides. Yeah, these are the biggest ones. No, actually, these are the biggest ones. There we go. So, um, that height. Let me see here. No, too low. Probably have to put them somewhere there. All right. So, what do we got? Four solid rocket boosters. These ones aren't bad. They're not huge like those other ones. Huge. But, uh, yeah, they should do the job. They should give us uh, the satisfaction that we need. Before we do that, we're going to lower these. Let's see if this is straight. Um, mm, not a fan of the closeness. They could actually rupture things. So, uh, okay, we'll, uh, actually, hold on. Okay, so, 250, 260, 450, but the problem is that they're too close. Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know. There we go. So now, I'll take these guys. Dare. Put this dare. Don't we have the distance that we need? Excellent. So, uh, next thing that we need is some. Uh, and we're not playing NASA here where we care about uh, how much money we're wasting. Well, I kind of like NASA. But uh, instead of using parachutes. It's better, actually, when you play the career game because you can salvage the stuff and you get the resources, but we don't care about that here. So uh, we're just going to get um, nose cone. 
too big. That's kind of small. Changed colors? Why would you? Why? Oh, that's okay. Um, these things need to be ejected. So we're going to get the separatrons here. Pop on uh, on either side. Let's just zoom in so I can fucking see. So we want to, why is it doing this? There we go. Okay, so we want them to go at a 45 degree angle away from, uh, from the fuselage or it'll crash into it and then done. So now this one was the other way. Yeah, there we go. I usually like to attach several pairs. This does increase the weight slightly, but um, better safe than sorry. But we want it to try to avoid us when it's uh, ejecting, or it might spit out of control and crash right into us. So, all right. So, what do we got here? Um, these guys. Hold on. Where are these guys? Those are there. Should be with all these. Or these ones. They're there. So these should be eject. Well, they'll fire first along with the main engines, which are right there. We're almost ready to launch anyways, but. Okay, so solid rocket boosters, main engines fire first. Then we need to eject the fairings. Or not the fairings, sorry. The boosters and um, that should be here because then all at the same time all these uh, separatrons should be fired so it shoots them out and they fire and they push away from the main craft then we should have uh, the fairings eject oh hold on no the fairings there we go we want these to eject right after the uh, solid rocket boosters because they're still going to be in the atmosphere and that's what we want to avoid leaving crap in the atmosphere uh, the fairings go off um, then yep release here main engine from second stage and eventually this ejects four main engines will allow us to go then eventually we do eject capsule we have the uh, no no it's fucking around we want our droves to go first the small ones uh, maybe the small ones okay so the small ones go first and then the main ones all right save uh, let's do this so what we've got to do is we're gonna eject eject we're gonna leave first and we're gonna create the characters that we want so, um, still no word from Dan, so I'm going to have to make you a character, I'm guessing. So, Alt F12, uh, Kerbals, uh, we're going to create, we're going to make Getty Kerbal, male, pilot, pilots, we'll give him full experience, uh, he's not dumb, uh, we'll give him medium courage, something like that. Um, I'll give him badass. There you go, get it. You're a badass. You're not a veteran, but you're a badass. So, great bad Kerbal. And who else? Should I create uh, Dan Kennedy? Dan, are you still listening? Oh, yeah, there he goes. Well, uh, Dan is a name that's used often. Getty is not too common. <laughs> um, I 
Yeah. I'll just leave you as Dan. Uh, we'll make you... I don't know, a scientist? Actually, no. That's above your pay grade. We'll make you an engineer, I guess. And, um... Yeah, this looks good enough. Kerbal. And, um... I guess we'll make Bullfrog. And he'll be a tourist. Alright, well, now it's time to go to our launch pad. We will uh, select our... Uh... Oh, I made you a female? Really? I thought I selected male. Well, sorry, Getty. I mean, this is just what we're going to have to do. <laughs> uh, Dan and Bullfrog. Come on, did I say... Oh. Not selecting. All right. Minerva 1. There we go. Sorry, dude. Do you want me to, like, delete it? <laughs> so I think I can delete it, can I? No, I don't, I don't know if I can, actually. Hold on. Let me see. 12. Inventory. I have to look into that. Sorry, dude. <laughs> All right. Um, well, let's. And why? See, I chose male for Dan, and it chose a female. Okay, something's weird. But uh, okay, fine. Let's launch the vessel. But I think it's going to be fun actually playing the um, the career mode and the science mode too. That should be uh, interesting to try to get uh, get through it. So activate uh, SAS. Actually, I think our resolution is a little small. I think. Yeah, it is small. This wheel is way too big. Where's our settings? Um, Oh, God. I don't know if I can change it from here. Huh. Possibly here. A little bit better. I think there's a nav ball option here where I can change the size. This thing is way too big. Na there we go. Nav ball size. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. So this is very cool. All these different... And you can move its position, too. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Well, uh, here we go, people. Let's get to the mun. Shout out to Tiff. The lovely Miss Tiff in the chat. Yeah, uh, Tiff. Maybe it's Maybelline. All right, so 66% thrust on our main engines. We're getting the green light from Kerbal Space Center. Mission Control is giving us a go. So, in five, four, three, two, one. Actually, I also forgot to actually add uh, launch towers to this. So, this stay level despite its weight. So I guess I'm lucky there. There's a bullfrog. Six 
kilometers go. Although it seems to be uh, remaining calm and composed. We're going to start to change our We want to try to stay on track here. We're going to go to pro grade. There we go. Um, now we're going to actually eject these fairings. We're going to burn up in the atmosphere. Craft's ready to go. We're not going to extend the uh, solar panels just yet. Once we're closer to here, we're going to actually fire off the rest of our fuel and get us into orbit. We also don't want to keep this stage in, in orbit as well, this one here. So we're going to try to burn off as efficiently as possible so that by the time that we eject it, it's still going to fall in the atmosphere and just we use the next stage to, uh, to stabilize our stealth. So, let's see. I don't want to get too high in orbit. And I am trying to... Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Keep my orbit from getting too high up. And burn this fuel off. That, that second stage should have more than enough fuel to get to the moon without a problem. Get us stabilized in orbit and get us to the moon. So I'm just trying to keep our orbit from getting too high up here and still allow this thing to, uh, to crash in the atmosphere. So we're still good there. This is the issue though. Never get too high in orbit. Well, um, smoke them if you got them, I say. Okay, so now we're actually flipping, but we're going to allow this to continue. We're going to keep our eye on electric charge. We want to keep going in this direction. We're going to fire our engines a little more lower our orbit. And then still ensure that uh, these things will fall in the atmosphere. So. 50 kilometers should be a 60, hmm. should be, should be enough. But we still have time. Still leaving a little bit of fuel in this. Yeah, we're gonna eject.
So these things certainly will uh, fall back into the atmosphere. You know, what we need to do is once we're here, we're going to circularize our orbit. So we'll add a maneuver that will get us to about 147 kilometers. 140, this is increasing 148. Seven hundred forty meters. I'm going to go for a close one hundred. One hundred five. Good enough. So uh, we wait about six minutes in game, fire our engine for about a second, supposedly, and um, we'll get into that stabilized orbit. Uh, hopefully the junk that we ejected will in fact uh, burn up in the atmosphere. So we're gonna oops, activate our solar panels here. And yes, if I had attached them to what's called a, uh, uh, what do they call in the game? Um, an action set. I could just press one button on my keyboard and it would just immediately open all four of them or do anything. So we'll just do that, keep our battery power going. Certainly can't wait to uh, explore more of the uh, Easter eggs that are uh, in this game. So, let's just fast forward so that we can get to our uh, maneuver window here, which we should actually be pointing towards. See, we're totally in, uh, in the dark here. So, we have to wait a little bit here. Let's see if we can forward our time. Oh, did I miss it? Apparently I did. Well, there we go. Oh, I'm getting messages here. Let me check my messages. I'm get, somebody's spamming me for something, I don't know. Um, I'll just check it out quickly. Well, I have no idea what this is about. But okay, so let's do this. Let's do that. my channel all right so come on there we go so what we need to do is there's the moon behind us so when we spin around we're going to launch at it so the easiest way to uh, get to the moon I put lights on the ship, you'd be able to see it. So where's the moon? Still some time away. All right. Let's fast forward. Not too much, though. Let's see where the moon is now. All right, so we're getting there. As soon as it uh, pops up over the, the uh, horizon, we just uh, fire all engines, and we will... Uh, get to the moon and yeah if this this stage here overkill um, 
definitely has not not just enough to get this little crap to the moon, but and it's going to be a waste because we're going to have a lot of fuel left over. But it could probably carry a separate lander or experiments or some shit like that. So I'll consider that um, potentially repurposing this rocket to include, you know, again, a, a separate lander that can... Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. A separate lander that just has, like, tool equipment for running missions and shit. That'd be really cool. But I, I plan to familiarize myself with the game before I go through the uh, career mode. Just because there's, you know, different things that are going on and so forth. But we're just about there. We're going to about uh, see the moon come over the horizon in just a short moment. Fast forward a little. Should be coming up any moment. There it is. All right, so we're gonna fire. Look at our map here. So it should intercept a short bit. Slow down our thrust. Okay, so what's our periapsis? Our closest point would be 9.2 million kilometers. And that's 1.3. I'm going to try to get as close to the surface as possible. Periapsis at 200, 174 kilometers, 98, 65. Perfect. So what that means for us is that we're going to get um, nice and close to the surface. Still quite a ways away, but um, we still have more than enough fuel in this rocket to, uh, to get us uh, orbiting the, the moon. So... Let's fast forward. Skype lines are open, as is the Discord, if anyone wants to call in. I might do a chill stream later, I don't know. I'm not too aware of what's been going on. But always somebody wants me to bring my attention to some sort of shenanigan. All right, so we're now we're in the influence of the moon. What we're going to want to do here is because once we swing around the moon at this point, we're going to want to be in retrograde. So we're going to fire off our uh, engine at that point and circularize so that we can stay in the orbit of the moon. And yeah, you could set up maneuvers if you wanted to. Or, yeah, how about this? We're going to do this. We're going to try to straighten this out a little bit better. And one hundred and thirty. There we go. See, as it starts to move around, they're trying to get to the same equilibrium. So seventy-seven and sixty-three. We can still reduce that a bit. 59, 68, 66, 41, still works. So we're going to want to go into maneuver. And in T minus 3 minutes and 30 seconds, we will conduct that maneuver. 
This should stabilize our open a little bit better, yeah. Looks like it's much more on the equatorial than it was before. That's good. Let's fast forward a little bit here. Oh, and there's a structure right, right up here on this, I think it's this meteor, this um, crater here. It's an arch. And nearby there's uh, a monolith, I believe. So we want to get to about a minute or so. All right. A little excessive, but still. And we just wait till this completes itself. We're only at about, let's say, a sixth worth of our thrust. Still have half a fuel tank. Impressive. Minus five seconds to completion. All right, so we're done that maneuver. And what we're going to want to do, I just want to check this. Yeah, I believe it's on, yeah, it's on this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, as we come around here or at this back end, we're going to start to use our thrust, reduce our landing spot to about here, eject that stage, and then use our lander. So we're just about ready. All right, let's fast forward. I think we're going to begin our burn here, retrograde. Yep, hold on, nope. There we go. That should be good. Um, and yeah, this fuel certainly will allow us to land on the moon, although we're not going to use a stage. It's just going to be slowing us down. Then we've got main fuel in our final stage, and that will help us get off the planet and get back to Kerbin. So I'm just going to have to fast forward here. Oh, slow down there. set ourselves for our maneuver. It is dark after all, but uh, our batteries are uh, being reduced slowly. All right, so we've got about two minutes left here. Getting a Skype message, hold on. Hello to you. And um, Two minutes, supposedly, till the burn time. Let's see. That's about there, yeah, so. Let's fast forward a bit. All right, so now we're going to go back to our map, and we're going to fire our engines. Zero. No, that's not what we wanted. Okay, well, retrograde. There we go. See? Okay, so we're going to be la supposedly landing around here. But we can eject that stage and then use our lander to stabilize and land somewhere around here. So that'll work because we don't want this stage too close to us. Uh, usually you try to eject it a little bit further away as opposed to, you know, close to your, um, or prior to your landing because it could continue to fly towards you. But uh, that should be a good distance away for this to, to happen. So we are now going to stay in retrograde, go back to our map, und fast forward. All right, so we're looking at our altitude right now, 30 kilometers and falling. We're putting ourselves into uh, retrograde, which will allow us to continue to use this fuel to slow us down if need be, because we are going quite fast. 
Um, we can also go into uh, normal mode, I believe. No, it's uh, ready to let, my bad. Ready to let basically will allow us to hop, as it were. So if this is a little too close, activate our engines. We'll start to see this. There we go. It increases. We'll go back to our map here. Go back to retrograde. So reverse direction of orbit. And we are going about 540 meters per second, which is quite fast. And we want to uh, land at most with 3.3 meters per second. But we need to get closer to our landing spot, which is right there. But um, again, we have, uh, the good thing is that this stage will be ejected and it will be destroyed on the surface, so there won't be any uh, pollutants. But uh, we have more than enough fuel in our main stage here to, uh, or our final stage, to uh, land, take off, and get back to Kerbin. But yeah, the surface is fucking amazing. And uh, can't, I really can't wait to start, you know, making bases and adding all these kits where they can do these uh, rover experiments and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to reviewing a lot of this stuff for you guys, as well as for my entertainment. But uh, hey, might as well uh, have you guys along for the ride if you want to check it out. And yeah, you can play other music here if you want. All right, so we're getting there. Let's just do a little fast forward. All right, so I want to see, first of all, that crater. Now, we are going low at about 10 kilometers, but, you know, then it goes to five, and then it goes back out. So we could maintain a stable orbit like that there's no atmosphere to slow us down but we want to again we want to land here and check out that uh that uh, anomaly so we're gonna see and we are really close we're getting even closer obviously um what was it f2 yeah uh this is without uh well the ui but it's fucking impressive it's fucking i love these graphics you can make them even better um, but we want to, you should be able to see this actually. Once we pass by it, you will see this, um, this structure. And we're, we're fast approaching it. It should be on this crater. I'm almost positive. Regardless, it's still a good spot to land. It's in the sun. A uh, lot of light. And um, fairly flat surfaces. So fucking cool. And I believe now in this version, the rocks, you can actually trip over rocks. Before, you just walk through them and stuff, the structures on the surface, but um, the environmental structures, that is. Um, yeah, now you bump into them and stuff. Yeah, you can see our shadow there, too. Hopefully having our, our uh, solar panels out won't damage us um, when we land. Okay, so where are we? We should be passing over it any moment now. Hopefully I'm not too low. I don't want to crash into a mountain or anything. So on some planets, the mountains get very, uh, very large. Yeah, so we're actually, we're, we're right above this. Okay, hold on. Somewhere up here. Fuck, look, 
how close we are. Let's reduce the surface speed here. Check our map. Yeah, we're going to be destined to hit the ground unless we do something about this. This looks doesn't look like a good, a bad spot to land. We're five kilometers up. Actually, hold on. Is there? Oh no 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 no. Fuck, we're only about 500 meters from the surface. All right, so where do we want to land? I mean, that wouldn't be a bad spot over... Nope. Nope. There, we want to... There we go. All right, so we're going to eject. Oof. Gears out. So that's going to fly down to the uh, surface there. We are moving along the surface, so we want to go retrograde and stop that. Stop our vertical and horizontal speed. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hopefully that uh, doesn't hit us. Yeah, we're still moving away from the surface, so I gotta reduce that. All right, perfect. So we'll go to stability assist here, and we're falling now towards the surface. Um. don't seem to be moving too much on the vertical or yeah the whole road south sorry so you can see our speed increasing we are about uh, just under 500 uh, meters from the surface, and you'll see our uh, speed increasing, but uh, we have a lot of fuel, and we won't have to uh, waste too much of it here to land. We do continue to see a little bit of vertical movement, but not too much. Uh, sorry, we're three kilometers up, not 500 <laughs> meters. See our shadow, which is a good indicator Speed's increasing, so we're going to fire off our engines, try to reduce our speed as much as possible. 1.2 kilometers from the surface. Oh, we went a little too fast. Coming in at 30 meters per second. 700 meters from the surface. We're gonna be landing on a hill, looks like.
that stage just hit. Fuck! Can it stabilize? Can it get back up? <laughs> we lost two solar panels. We might have to send a rescue ship to get you guys. Damn it. Let's see what... to uh, send a rescue ship. Okay. Well, um... Certainly, we weren't able to get them off. And that sounds bad. But, um, yeah. There we go. You guys are stuck on the moon. <laughs> and this thing still keeps going. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I know, Getty. I know. Maybe I should just forget this ever happened. Delete, uh, Delete the character and start over uh, with the appropriate gender. And then they, there goes that piece. Well, I guess, uh, Getty, you're, you will be getting out here. And um, you're going to be planting a flag. Hold on. There we go. Oops. At least to recognize that this is the uh, landing spot of uh, your failed expedition. So we'll plant the flag. And... Isn't that what I just did? did I there we go. Yeah. And this will be... Um, failed landing. Marooned crew. Um, okay. So, sad, but uh, there it is. And um, I'm going to get you back in your craft there. Oop. Try it again. It's very cool about the atmosphere, uh, about the environment here on the moon is that. Uh, you can jump for uh, quite some height. There we go, and oops, come on, climb. Board, there we go. So you guys will have to stay safe in that uh, location until we can send a rescue ship to get you guys. But um, yeah, we've been going on for close to two hours. Um, I had fun showing the show and or showing this new game and reminding you guys it's available free on EpicGames.com. And uh, yeah, a lot of great stuff that you can add on here. A lot of mods, and um, yeah, it's just uh, certainly worth at least trying out. I'm gonna quit the main menu. But I do very much like the improvements in this game. And yeah, a lot of uh, different uh, extras in there. But yeah, I was looking forward to uh, to this day and uh, being able to share my love of Kerbal Space Program with you guys. And uh, maybe encourage you guys to try something different. Try something that um, you guys can laugh at, have fun with, but um, also learn a few things. I don't know if I'll be on later, maybe. I don't know. I heard some people might be doing something, so. But, um, yeah, I certainly enjoyed uh, today's time with the show, and hope you guys did too. So on that note, I am Devious Dave Rose, and I shall see you next time.